In this video, we're going to install Mac on an AMD based system. So, without further ado, let's get started. You'll need a couple of things a pen drive with at least 8 gigs of memory, or 8 gigs, uh, which is at least 8 gigs in size. Then, you need a few files. First of all, it's TransMac. So, you can go to your browser, go to Google. <laughs> Not that tab. Okay, so go to Google, type in Transmac and download the Transmac software, install it up. The second thing you need to download is the High Sierra DMG, which I'll link in the description below. It's uh, 6.5 gigs in size or something like that. Just download it. The third thing is a post install zip file, which is necessary after we install Mac on an AMD system. So yeah, download that too. I believe you have downloaded everything. Let's get to the desktop. Uh, let's go to West Transmac. Uh, let's go to Transmac. Right click, run as administrator. Give it the permissions. And we'll wait 10 seconds since this is an evaluation build. Click on run. This is my pen drive. That's the 16 gig one. Right click, format this for Mac. Now, this will format um, pen drive for Mac. So if you have any data on the pen drive, just back it up. Yes. Let's type in a name. Let's type in a hard name. Yes, that's right. Okay, yes. Uh, it'll take like a minute or two. So be patient. The format is complete, click on OK, then all again right click, click on restore with disk image, uh, yes, now select the High Sierra DMG file which you just downloaded, the link will be in the description below, ok, so it's in my local drive D, so yeah that's High Sierra V3 unofficial, open it up and click on OK, and click on yes, this will take like 20 to 30 minutes. Maybe a bit less uh, depending on the type of drive that you are using. So yeah, wait, get a cup of coffee, drink it, make it again, drink it and probably this will be done by then. I'll catch you on the other side. Store is complete. Uh, let's click on OK. Let's close this up. Uh, click on Cancel. So this is what we have dealt in now. We have downloaded Transmark, installed Transmark, downloaded the two files that I have given you in the description below. Use Transmark to create a Mac bootable pen drive. And yeah, that's it. Uh, do know that just copy that post install folder on a second pen drive as it has some key important files which you have to copy onto the EFR partition when we boot up into Mac. So yeah, that's it for the screen recording part. Now I'm going to turn off screen recording and switch my camera as I do not have a capture device. Also the video <laughs> I will be showing right now is a bit blurry. So if you have any comments or any questions, do let me know in the comments below. I'll see you on the other side. So I've turned off my PC. Let me just turn it on. Now we have to go to the boot device selection menu. For different boards, it's different, but for mine, that's mine is an MSI B450M, it's F11, so I'll keep on pressing F11 till my boot menu shows up right about now. So the second one is my pen drive. I have to boot it from my pen drive first, clicking on it. I get the Clover bootloader, so there's only one option for macOS, rest of Windows, so that's boot mark was from high Sierra AMD. Let's tap enter. A few moments later. 
So the Mac boot screen appears. So first things first, I'll go to disk utility and I'll just format my disk. This is my disk that's 240GB SSD. I'll format it to a Mac OS compatible partition. So I'll just type Mac. Now do remember this name. Uh, it will be helpful later. Or if you forget your name, I'll just let you know another way. Okay, let's click on erase. Cool, this is done. So our Mac is done. Let's just close it up. Let's click on reinstall Mac OS and continue. And if you get this error, this is because you have to change your date. We can overcome this error. You do not have to download again. Do not panic. I'll click on OK. I can give you a reason why this happens but who is interested uh, let's type in date space okay um, date 01010101 so the I'll just write it in the description also so this is what you have to type here and click on enter now just go to click on terminal and click on quit now click on reinstall macOS again and voila, you can now go ahead with the installer. Click on continue, agree, agree the policies, select the drive name that's Mac, install, and it will take a couple of minutes, maybe 10 minutes, or maybe more depending upon your disk drive type. My mine might take a bit less because of because I'm installing it on an SSD. Now my computer is booting up. I'll just keep on pressing the boot menu key. That's F11 in my case. Uh, just and the boot menu will appear right about now. We'll boot from the pen drive itself again. Uh, we'll boot from the pen drive. That's Mac OS. Boot Mac OS from Hi Sierra AMD. I'll click on enter. Now we are in the macOS installer again. Now we have to go to utilities, terminal, and type in some pre-install commands. So that is cd volumes hi Sierra AMD. Just type enter and then type pre-install. and the uh, name of the drive so mine was mac uh, you have to remember it yourself so i'll just type in mac and it's done now let's reboot again by the way i'll write this command in the description below so it's easier for you to copy and write I'll boot from my pen drive again. Type in enter. And now you have to boot from your SSD or hard disk drive. So that's boot install boot Mac OS installed from Mac. Mac is my SSD, so let's boot it up.
Now it will install macOS as usual. It will take approximately 18 minutes as it shows in my. It might take more in your case. Now it will automatically restart in 10 seconds. Um, my mouse is not working so let it restart. Now we will boot into the USB drive once again. So we have to select the first partition from here. Uh, it says boot Mac OS from High Sierra AMD. Let's boot it up. We have to write some post install commands. Okay, now just go to utilities, terminal, and write some commands. So I'll write them down. So it's CDs, volumes, high Sierra AMD, which we wrote earlier as well for a pre install. So it's CD, volumes. AMD and then type AMD and then you have to type your drive name so that's Mac for me and it's doing its magic as it says doing some wolf's magic So it says the system will reboot in one minute uh, or I can do it manually. A manual is a better option. Just click on restart. Now we'll boot from the pen drive once again. This is the last time. And now our SSD. So that's boot Mac OS from Mac. So this one. Let it boot. So we'll go this by the setup. Normally, as we do in Mac, I'll select my region, continue, continue, uh, let's keep it not connected, continue, don't transfer, terms and conditions, I agree, the name, Salim Khan, let the password be the same. And a very tough hint. No one will guess it. Uh, let me just customize it. I do not want anything to turn on. My time. Pune seems fine. Just turn this off. And let's disable say. And in a few moments, I'll have a Mac. So. Here we have a Mac, so let's close this. Um, so let's open up our pen drive. That's High Sierra AMD. So it says EFI backups and Clover files. In Clover, go to Clover files, copy Clover configurator as well as EFI to the desktop. Done. Open Clover. Uh, this seems weird. The graphics seem weird because we haven't installed anything as you can see So it says uh, 3.8 gigahertz quad core Intel Xeon. I don't know why but 3.8 is correct 8 GB 3200 is correct But the graphics are not correct. It's just 4 MB. So let's close it up click on mount EFI Okay I'll mount this one and I'll open the partition. So this is a Mac partition. So let's just I'll minimize it and copy EFI. And I guess we are done. Close it up. And then we have to copy a few text files. So remember I gave you a post install folder. It's there in the description. I'll just copy this one to the desktop go to clover i'll open up my mac partition 
oh, not this one but this one go to graphics I'll just copy these two okay um, go to EFI Clover then you have to go to text then other copy these two here now oh, let's connect to my Wi-Fi because uh, we have to download and install NVIDIA drivers okay here's my Wi-Fi let's type in my password <laughs> which I'm not going to tell you cool it's connected uh, let's go to Safari because that's the only browser we have okay uh, clock is not set correctly let's go to the clock so we'll write nvidia drivers and then we'll write tony mark x86 so there will be a lot of nvidia drivers here as you can see uh, to download the specific one just go to your mac icon about this mac and click on the version so it's 17 d47 we'll have to find it here um 17 d47 that's f that's e here you go uh, let's click on download let it download it'll take like a few seconds oh my internet speed is quite good and then just open it up continue continue agree now i have removed my pen drive from my from the system so when we are booting there won't be any confusion now now this is our last reboot so let's click on restart and move to trash as we don't need it let's just keep it up now we'll go to the boot menu again because my default one is windows it's not mac so it's my uefi, UEFI os SATA 4 that's 240 gig ssd drive and then the clover bootloader appears i have to boot boot mac or yeah so okay i have to go to clover options then configs config N nvweb return and then just check in graphic injector that use nvidia web driver is selected let's return and then boot mac os from mac now everything will work perfectly let's hope everything works perfectly as you saw there were no glitches here and it is working very good let's just go to the apple logo about this mac and now you can see my graphics is nvidia geforce gdx 1070 8 gigs so yeah this is how you install mac os high sierra because after that nvidia graphic cards aren't supported so that's how you install mac os on your ryzen based system with an nvidia graphics card so what do you think of this video did you find it easy did you like it if yes give this video a thumbs up if you didn't like it you know what to do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon thanks a lot for watching this is salim and i'll catch you on the next one